Here we have a nature documentary on a cat and the life of a cat. What do cats do as cats? There's a question I've been wondering about for a while now. Where is it? Do you know? On the cat's back. I know, I back. know what you're looking for. Yeah. Is it on there? No. Oh. Anywho, howdy, Yens. After that odd little interlude, hello, my name is Roscoe P. Tanner, and welcome back to another riveting, mind-blowingly delicious episode of Hillbilly Cooking. Now, I got a question for you. Oh, what's that? Who likes breakfast? I do, I, I do, I, like I do. Yeah, well, today on Hill Better Cooking, we're going to show you how to prepare a simple yet delicious breakfast using nothing but the George Foreman grill. Of course. Now, you will need certain ingredients mm -hmm. to make your breakfast. What's as that? Well as a little bit of hardware. Okay. Oh. Actually, I think we got everything we need. Oh, do we? Yep. You got All right. Your bacon. Mm-hmm. Thick sliced. Mm. That's important. Yes, it is. Tastes better. It does. Eggs. Eggs. Large grade A. Large. White. Yep. That's very important. Mm-hmm. You don't got... want the brown eggs. No. You got too expensive, uh, and they just. Oh. Anyway, you got cornbread. Oh, cornbread. Yep. yep. We pre-made that one just cause uh, to save on time. Yeah. You got uh, your coffee. Coffee. Three little packets of it. Yep. For that caffeine jolt. Yep. And then you got orange juice. Orange juice. A staple of every breakfast. Every breakfast. And I, as you know, on Hell Better Cooking, the first step is always. Always. As usual. To plug in the grill. Plug in the grill. And I'm going to close it so you can see that the light is indeed on. Yep. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's on. All right. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, the first step that you're going to do. Uh huh. Is prepare the egg. Of course. Uh, actually, just for the sake of you know having things all set and ready. Okay. I'm go ahead and get a couple of pieces of bacon out. Oh yeah, good idea. And have them set and ready to go. Yeah. Uh, so. Now we picked this bacon up from the local butcher. We certainly did. Whose name is Jerry. Jerry Carolina. Jerry Carolina. Jerry Carolina Grub, actually. Jerry, yeah, Carolina Grub. Jerry Carolina Grub. He's very proud of his uh, bacon. Yeah, he uh, should be. It always comes out real nice. Like. Yeah, it does. You'd think the Carolina pride name on that bacon there was from, like, because uh, it was from the Carolina, uh, one of them's. But, uh, in, in fact, it's not. It is uh, simply his name. A strange name for a fella to have, I agree, but uh, he is, well, a strange feller. His mammy was strange. Y she was. But ain't they all? Well, yeah. I, mean... I never did meet my mammy. Well, I don't remember what happened. She died in childbirth. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yep. Yeah, like it was yesterday or something. Shock at the side of you, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, I'd probably die if something like that slid out of me, too. It probably, yeah, I would. Hell, I've scared myself in the mirror a few times. <laughs> Looked inside and been like, oh, I thought I was having a heart attack. Got the uh, debilitator. Right. So, I got a couple of pieces of bacon out. Yep. And I tell you what, after this, you might need that uh, debilitator. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a. A fat filled motherfucker. Well, I tell you what, old. Oh, man. hell. Hey, let me tell you. There we go. It's nice and stored. Okay. Nice and stored. Now, uh, now, old Granny, I tell you, she knew how to make a good breakfast. She did. This is Granny's 100% homemade recipe. Absolutely. Uh, she's one of the best cooks that I know uh, or have ever known. Yeah. She's, she's no longer with us. Uh, no. She had a bit of a moonshine accident. She did. You might think she had a drinking problem, but it wasn't that. Uh, uh, no, first time she ever tried it. Yep. 
Float right the hell on up. Yeah, she did. You gotta make sure not to drink Jerry's moonshine next to a damn fire. Even if it's 20 yards away, you, I, you can't do it. All right, now bear with me now. Okay. Right here, what you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Take your egg, right? Right. Crack it. Right in the cup. In the cup. <clears throat> All right. Okay. You see that? Well, that lightens. Wait here, I'll just pull it up. See, the egg is cracked in there. Yep. All right. Now we need to give it some flavorication. Flavorification. Indeed. Now what do we have down here for? Okay. We got salt. Salt. Where's all the black pecker? It's gone. Oh well. I ate it all. You would. Well, apparently we ain't gotten the black pecker. Nope. So, uh, let's see. We'll put some of that in there. Some hot sauce. We'll put some of that in there. What is it? Uh, uh, mustard. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll put. Let's see. What's that? Uh, bear with us. He's having a lot of trouble here. Uh, that. Hmm. What's it say? Damn it! Oh no! Get learn to read. Go back to the fourth grade and finish. Can't. Too hard. No, whatever it is, we'll just put it in. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. I guess that ought to do it. Really yeah, it ought to. All right, now. Uh, I'll close that up. You want to be safe. Okay. Don't want to trip over it. Now you want to put a little bit of salt in there. Just a tiny bit. Pinch. Okay. Just a little bit. Yep. And now some of this mystery ingredient. Mystery? We couldn't figure out what it was. Maybe Yins could put in the comment and tell us what it is. Yeah. Because I can't figure it out. It's, I, I can't, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I'm not even going to try. I know what all them letters. <laughs> yeah, just put a little in there. All them uncommon letters. Nobody. Now we'll I hope the, that's good. We used the. Uh, no, I'm just kind of figuring this is mustard because it's yellow. Yeah. I mean, it looks, I mean. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just a touch. Just a little, little mustard. Okay. Mm. I'll tell you what. Oh, you put that stuff back in there, Clem. <sighs> that smells delicious. Then it's old. You forgot that, that I didn't forget red about it. stuff. I'll put this back away. Cause like I said, you can never be too damn careful. Never be too careful of her. Look good. Look at that. I'm tied a little bit. Just a touch. You <laughs> make sure you don't want to overuse. Like I can't stress that enough. You don't want to over season a ton of your not. shit. Rest it out with the salt. No. It's such a dangerous ingredient. We're gonna get the floor here. Yep. <clears throat> we're gonna beat the floor out of the thing. All right. Whoop it. That's how he's whooping it. Now, do you put the butter in with the egg? When we went off that last time. You dumb son of a bitch. What? Now, you want okay. your egg, when it's all mixed up and whatnot, to basically be brown. Yep. That is the color and consistency that you for sure want. If you ever uh, look down the outhouse hole yeah. after you ain't cleaned for a while, yeah. that's basically the color and, and conspiracy that you're looking for. Right. Okay. Now... Got our egg mixed up. Yep. So, I guess we're going to spray down the grill. Okay. With, uh, uh, whatever they say. Is. Butt spray. Butt spray, right. Don't actually use it on your butt, though. No, that's a, that's a bad idea. It's made from butt juice. Yes, it is. Freshly squeezed juice of a butt. Okay, now. Uh, as before, as we have demonstrated on... A little bit of cooking. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna well, same base, same basic method. I mean, you're probably gonna get some of the drippy drip. And, yeah, you uh, usually do. If you'll zoom in on that. You can see it's already beginning to happen. Already got the butter drip. So the butter is dripping. Yep. So now come the eggs. Okay. Here they go. That looks yummy. <laughs> Who we? Oh, that's delicious. 
basic color of uh, mo- molest- molest- molestation. Yeah. So, uh, that is about right. Got that. Now I come, to, come to bacon. Yep, right. you gotta thought about we're, this is That's what I'm need, meaning to tell y'all. This is a quick uh, breakfast method. Yeah, very quick. Quick. Yeah, you don't mess around. We don't hey. mess around with no breakfast, now, I'll tell you that much. In order to, you know, be if, efficient. Yeah. You're gonna take the same cup. Yep. That you mix your egg in. Exactly. It's all going to the same place anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, You'll use this to kind of deglaze the inside of that thing. That thing. Put one of them goddamn pull tabs in there. I know. It's, it's tough. Okay, now, you want to... Fill that up most of the way. Yeah. Right to about... That's good, that's good. Don't, don't put them on there. Right. Putting too much. Shit. Putting too much. Okay, now. Here, actually, I, I'm going to... I'm gonna open the the coffee. You just film that there real quick. Okay. Well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this here cornbread on there. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it for a minute. Okay. And you can see, I'm gonna close the grill and get a little bit of uh, uh, pre mashing going on. Pre mashing. Right over Not here. Not quite mashing the fuck out of it. Just yeah. No, we're 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 prepping it for final. Fuck mastification. Yeah. Ma- mastic- Mashy what? Yeah. cutie. Um, All right. So, I got your coffees on the hair. Okay, here's your, here's your cami. Thank you. All right, now you're going to brew your coffee with the orange, the orange juice. juice. It, it's, I'm telling you, this is the quickest way yeah. to get a good, wholesome breakfast. Now, I know some of you people like it with, I don't know, water or whatever, but that don't work. No, shit. it's nasty. That's the orange juice. And the coffee mixture. Yep. It's delicious. It imbues with the acid. We we'll use the same, the same, yes, the, yes, the, the, the egg, uh, egg flour. Yeah. Same, same one. And just maybe mix that some bitch up real good. Mix it right real there. nice and, and good. Hey, you, what is this for you? Oh, wholesome. Hey, it's like, tell you what, that's a similar uh, color to them our eggs. Yeah, this is what you want to see, like if, you know, if you've been eating it the grub way for a while. And then you go and use the outhouse. Sorry. That's more than likely what it's going to look like, yep. honestly. All right. Now, uh, we got to lube our throats oh. up there for our for our later exploitation. All right. Now, you can see the cornbread looking nice. We got the uh, the eggs there. Now, <coughs> they're there. They sure are. Now, you know that you cannot have... A proper cup of coffee without heat. Heat! It's so. extraordinarily important to add heat to your coffee. Absolutely. And so, rather than going the traditional route of putting it in a pot and brewing it separate and all that shit, you don't need to do that. No, I think that's very dumb. <laughs> Absolutely, it's dumb. So what you, you already mean? got a grill right there? I mean, shit, why wouldn't you use heat it? Heat source? Yep. Yeah. And I mean, the grill Something needs heating. will actually infuse more of a charred uh, <coughs> flavor into the coffee. <laughs> into the coffee. I'll tell you, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tipsy from moonshine. He's been drinking too much. <laughs> Everything's getting me tickled all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I, I love cooking anyway. Yeah, me too so much. That's heating up real nice, you can tell. Do you think it needs more? Yeah. You do? Here, let me take care of this. You just gotta, you know, you put a good amount on there. And uh, then, now we gotta mess the part. We gonna, you gotta mess the fuck out of it. Mess the ever loving, shitting, dicking fuck out of that son of a bitch. Mm-mm. Now that is how you get the most flavor out of your coffee. Yep. And that egg is going to be a sizzling and pretty enough nice. Yes, it is. And that bacon is going to get that Delicious. nice, crispy, crunchy, crunch. Texture. That you want out of yep. your bacon. And yep. your cornbread is going to be nicely flattened and caramelized and grilled to perfection. Perfection. Oh, we might have should have. The cornbread is supposed to go up there. <laughs> no. Oh. 
You see, you put it down here with the rest of it, so it imbues oh, with, with the all bit. the flavorication that you put on the grill to begin with. Fellers, I wish you could smell this. This is delicious. Yeah, I'll get in there, smell that. And it's, uh, <sighs> you know, it's all <sighs> swimming in that delicious sauce that we made from the coffee and the orange Yeah. Juice. Eggs that are orange. My favorite Absolutely. breakfast dish. And bacon just, oh, you know, I, let's I'm, see, let's take a look at it. Man, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I Me can't too. To wait for shit. Shit. Here, you just here. Oh, you got it? Chewy. That looks delicious. Don't that look yummy? It does. I'm going to throw this cup of coffee. But, oh, shit. Oh, damn it, clam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I'll, I'll look that up later. I don't want to waste nothing. All right, that looked good. I'm kind of wondering how much that coffee actually got grilled. You think I want to add a little more on there? I don't know. I mean, it's all over the damn place. I wonder the cornbread soaked some of it up. It did. I'm sure it did. Now for plating. Plating? You want to use a... You don't want to scamp on this, folks. You no. want to use something fancy. Something fancy. I mean, you took all the trouble and the time to make that breakfast. You want to get it your nice, stiff, you know, hearty plate. Paper plate. Yeah. You don't want none of them flimsy old thin suckers. Now then. You want to use a nice, nice paper plate instead of one of them thin, flim, flimsy paper plates. Right. Yeah. And look how it comes up as one whole unit. That's what you want, right there. I know. I know, I know what it is. You got a little bit left on there, but that's a little bit, but too awful bad. No, no, not at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, just gotta get it off there. Get a little that extra sauce on there. Yeah, gotta sop it up yep. real nicely. Scop it up. Okay. Sauce like, it oh, fight up. Oh, there you go. Mercy. Yep. Here, let me, let me say that real quick. You want to get a lot of that sauce off there and put it back right on there. Thing with the, you see, with the sauce, you you know, it's tough. You got to, you know... That's a good idea, Clem. I think Randy, uh, Randy would be proud of you. I think so, too. Oh, hella good. Don't it now? Yep. Take well, him to bite of that. I guess that's all that's left, really. Yeah. Got to try it, at the very least. Let's see. <sighs> yes, I'm nice. Delicious bacon there. Whew. Lord, that's hot. Yeah. That's a good thing, though. You it is. Nice and warm. Yep. All right. You got to put it in. Mmm, yummy. Mm, oh, jeez. That little mm. dog. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. How is it? That's a good. I think I'm going to have to try another piece right here. Yep. Hey, look. You got the extra good steam again. <laughs> Be right. careful going that in your mouth. There you're going to burn your damn self. All right. Tell you what. <clears throat> Don't eat. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yummy, mm -hmm. yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's no. Oh Lord, that's <laughs> it's wow. shit. Yeah, what's that? I feel kind of. I feel kind of funny. Oh, what? Oh. I, I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, oh, God. oh, shit. No, I'll get the. I'll, I found the decrapinator. The crapinator. Oh, 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 oh,